NVIDIA has been a nice bounce off the 390.480, which oh, had that since May. So nice continuation from 395, basically. I would say this 436, right back into the 10 week. Same coming off that 194.80, hitting its head on um, basically 395 to 435. I think that's enough for now. The same exact look as the Qs, right? Right into the 10 week and the 55 day. Earnings on 1121, no edge. Could absolutely, this was support, that 394.80, tagged perfectly, bounced into resistance. It could keep going into the top of this Bollinger Band, just like uh, we saw with Amazon. Not very conclusive yet, though. All right. In the meantime, we broke above. Anything above that 352 yesterday was bullish. Anything below is bearish. Obviously, pre-market, we're, uh, we tagged 362. That's $10 in basically uh, less than 24 hours. That's a big move. Roku gapped up above the 200. That's a slingshot. Hanging up here about 71.84 with a big expansion candle right up into the muck again. 71.30. It has a little bit of room here. It could push into the 75.45 before hitting its head. It's a big gap up. Yeah, Roku is still pushing higher into that 75.45 for your chase. And Roku blew up to that 75 on what it normally does. They just chase this thing. They love this thing. I mean, this is just, wow, typical. It's not even atypical. This is totally typical for Roku. <laughs> A 26% excited move is completely <laughs> um, predictable. Okay, shop. I haven't, I haven't looked at shop. Hold on. These are some big candles that would have to follow through. Unfortunately, you know, this is, a, I didn't even see that for earnings. Sorry about that. Um, it's right into the 21 day. So more likely it has to stay above 56.20. Really, really, really nice area. There's your 100 day, but it's hitting its head right now. Yeah, this is your channel. 59.37 above is bullish. Otherwise it chops here. And if it breaks 56.20, you're going to see that gap fill. The gap is like way to heck down here. Like that's a gap way, way, way far away. Sorry, I missed that one. That's your That's your channel. Pelletier. All right. No edge with earnings once again. All right. So this is a very bullish engulfing candle. If it can stay above that 17, you know, on a daily, but 1746 on a weekly. So very, very bullish engulfing. Very bullish engulfing. There's your 10 and 21. Didn't roll over. It started to. No edge with earnings. Delighted. So we broke out prior to earnings, came back in, rolled over. This is a huge move. And of course, we've got all this, you know, drama from today. There's your intraday resistance of 1813. We're well above the expected move and resistance level three on an intraday. So that's way extended, very, very, very extended. But this is bullish if it can continue to move this Bollinger Band up. So you can see it did, has not done a very good job of staying above this 17 and a half level. And then, of course, this is monthly. So it's got some work to do, but very nice potential. Has a lot of work to do. Remember, it's been here since June. June slithering sideways. June with lots of drama. A covered call strike would be like 20, 21 and a half. Yeah, same idea. If we get above this kind of 19 level, which is very, very hard to do. We can go above it. Look, we came right back in. We need to get and stay above kind of that 19 to move up to 21. So I would think that 21 would be a nice area for covered call. 